Hello YouTube, the gun nut here. It's another great day to be an American. Let freedom reign. Well, this Memorial Day weekend, I'm finally getting around here to doing an update video. 6.5 Grendel upper that I got from GrendelHunter.com. And this is my second one. First one was replaced due to some accuracy concerns. And this one has the 16-inch uh, fluted barrel. And I am have it on top of my CMMG lower. I've been shooting uh, some of the Hornady Black 123 grain ELD match, some of the Hornady SSTs, 123 grains, and I've been hand loading a bit with the uh, 123 grain Hornady A Max, and then also with the 107 Sierra Match Kings. So we'll go ahead and walk through some targets here. I've had it out to the range now three times uh, since I got it, so I think that's a good enough sample that we can see what we have. I'm out here today at the range, trying out this. Uh, New Grendel Hunter Upper. This is the one with the 16 inch fluted stainless steel barrel. Got in my Vortex uh, Crossfire 2 scope, 6 to 18 power. And I'm shooting some factory loads and some hand loads. I shoot some of the 123 grain ELD match in black and the 123 grain SST. And then I load up some Hornady A Max with uh, AA 2520. So we got some of those rounds to shoot as well. Also today, I'm trying out this new trigger. I got a velocity trigger in this lower. May 3rd, three shots of the AMAX went into 1.29. Three shots of Hornady Black into 1.66. Four shots of Hornady Black into 0.55. Pretty good group there. Another four shots of Hornady Black into 1.16. Uh, although the fifth shot opened the group up to 1.76. We had four shots of SST into 0.86 inches. I had a fifth shot that was definitely a flyer to open up to 2.07. So again, four into 0.86, not too bad. Three shots of SST into 1.87. Three shots of SST into 2.15. doesn't seem to like the SST as much as it likes the uh, the black. Seems like the black the best. Another three shots of SST into 1.97. Another three shots of SST into 2.42. And over here, three shots of SST into 1.02. Alright, I'm going to shoot a few more of these uh, 123 grain SSTs. I seem to continue to get a flyer about one in every three or four shots. Shots of Hornady Black seem to droop pretty decent. So again, we'll try these SSTs, three more rounds, and then we'll move on to some hand loads. Not horrible. It's about an inch and a half group, from what I can tell. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Switch over to hand loads now, but I'm going to crony these, so no more video. On May 11th, and three shots of SST into 1.91. Three shots of SST into 1.80. Unfortunately, that's what I had the most of was the SST. Uh, three shots of the Hornady Black into 1.03, so right around an inch there with the Hornady Black. And this uh, Hornady Black group's a little bit bigger. Again, I think I pulled this fourth shot. These three were in about about into an inch. The fourth shot we were at 2.17. Three shots of SST into 1.65. And then I went through some hand loads here. These were. 123 grain AMAX with Accurate Arms 2520. We had three shots into 0.82 after a following shot. And that's with uh, 27.8 grains of uh, 2520. And then we had three shots into 0.6 of an inch with a called flyer. 28.1 grains of AA2520. Uh, three shots into 1.26. The fourth shot opened it up to 2.74. Same thing here. 
We had three shots into 1.87 and then four opened it up to 3.18. Definitely some strange results there. Uh, 29 grains, we had three shots into 1.05 and the fourth one opened it up to 1.82. At 29.3, we had three shots into 1.04 and four into 1.68. And 29.6 grains, we had four shots into 1.93. So based on those results with the accurate arms, I decided to go ahead and reload more, which I shot today, which I'll get to in a few minutes, right around this 28.1 grain. Today's targets, 527, I'm sorry, 528, 17. We had the first uh, shots here, four shots of SST into 1.86. It's been pretty consistent where it's one and a half to two inches. Uh, the first group of Hornady Black, I don't know, I think this was a shooter error, four shots into 2.13 because my next four actually went into 0.82 so maybe also I think it seems to like a warm barrel so after I shot those first eight the group really tightened up here so I don't know 0.82 for the Hornady Black definitely liking the Hornady Black and then get more of that to shoot luckily there's a store near me that carries it uh, and then we're gonna move on here to Akron Arms 2520 and 123 Hornady A Max we had three shots into 1.25 at 27.9 grains. We had four shots into 1.61 at 28. Three shots, I'm sorry, four shots into 1.47 at 28.1. And then at 28.2, we had four shots into 1.14. So at 28.2, kind of like in that, that's decent accuracy, not spectacular. So maybe I'll try a different powder. And see if I get better results. Loaded up to 107 grain Sierra Match Kings with 8208 XBR and at 28.1 grains we had four shots into 1.38 inches. At 28.4 grains we had four shots into 1.42. 28.7 we had four shots into 1.1. 29 grains we had four shots into 2.37. Uh, I think I might have done something there, so three shots went into 1.82. But then this group right here, four shots into 0 0.75. And that was 29.3 grains of uh, 8208. So definitely liking that. I'm going to explore that 29.3 grain mark again. And then at 29.6 grains, we had three shots into 1.15, and the fourth one opened it up to 1.44. So overall, I'm not going to say it's subminute of angle accuracy, but it's definitely uh, in that one to two minute of angle accuracy. I haven't counted up to see how many rounds. I probably put about 130 rounds through it so far. So, you know, it is still a pretty new barrel, still breaking in. We'll see if we can get it uh, to shoot any better here uh, over the next upcoming trips with some different loads. Hopefully you guys have found the video useful. I know it's a lot of rambling about group sizes. If you did, please like and subscribe and you guys be safe out there. Mm -hmm.